Hello there, and welcome to Comcast Local Edition. I'm Robert Tranum, and joining me now in Annapolis is Delegate Ben Kramer, who represents Maryland District 19. Delegate, welcome. Thank you. Pleasure to be here. So I know you're a freshman delegate, and I understand that you have a lot of bills that you're working on. Your inbox is this large. What, tell us what you're working on. Uh, thank you for asking. Um, I have a, uh, a fairly significant number of bills that I'll be putting in this session. Um, many of them deal with uh, seniors' issues. One thing that I quickly learned coming here to Annapolis is that uh, we have not really focused on protections for our senior residents at the state level. And with this package of bills, I hope to address that situation. Um, the first, and I think what will be one of the most prominent, it will be uh, the creation of a silver alert for the state of Maryland. Explain, please. It will be similar in nature to an amber alert where we have a child who goes missing, only this will apply to any individual who suffers from a cognitive impairment. So whether it be, dis whether it be uh, dementia or, uh, or Alzheimer's or whatever the case may be? Absolutely. And the Alzheimer's Association has found that at some point or another, six out of ten of those who suffer from Alzheimer's will at some time wander. And if they're not found within the first 24 hours, 50 percent of those will suffer some serious harm or death. And this bill, when implemented, will create an opportunity for the rapid dissemination of information about the person who is missing. Uh, what makes this somewhat unique is that often the person who goes missing will go missing on the local level. With the Amber Alert, traditionally they're out looking for an automobile where a child has been abducted. This often, sometimes, sometimes will be a, a, a senior with Alzheimer's who's behind the wheel of a car, but often it'll be a local issue. And I think which, what will really make this bill unique is that it has been tied into the community service learning hours for high school students. And when implemented, the goal here will be having high school students sign up at their local high schools to participate in a search if there's a local event in their community. Certainly the folks who know the local communities and neighborhood best are, you know, who know it best are the children in the neighborhood, the high school students. And it will allow for notification to the school. The school can then send out text messages messages, communicate to the students, here is the individual we're looking for, this is where they were last seen, we believe they may have been wearing this, and it doesn't demand um, a total commitment from law enforcement with limited resources to really fan out and look for someone. Absolutely. So I think this will make it a very unique uh, uh, program Perfect. that we'll have here in Good Maryland. Good luck with that. What else are you working Thank on? Thank you. I have a couple of bills uh, that deal with the uh, financial exploitation of our elderly residents. Um, there's no question that the scammers are targeting our senior population. Our most vulnerable. Our most vulnerable or perceived as being vulnerable and therefore they are being targeted. Um, there's fifth, over the age of 50, 70 percent of the wealth in the country resides with those those individuals who are over 50. The scammers know it and they're going after that population. How are they doing so? Well, there are a number of ways. Um, one has been undue influence of those who are particularly at risk because of their isolation, um, oftentimes by caretakers. Uh, it may or may not be a member of the family who is doing this. but. Um, we don't have in statute right now anything addressing this issue of undue influence. And often what will happen is over time the caretaker will be pressuring their uh, charge to sign over property, bank accounts. Um, very often they'll say, if you want me to keep going to the grocery store to buy your groceries, go to the post office you need to sign the title of the car over to me and over time will pressure the individual into actually signing over some of these assets. Uh, right now there's nothing that can be done to prosecute these cases and um, our state's attorneys have all said we need to close that loophole and this is an opportunity to do so. So we'll be having that uh, this year. Um, we'll be looking at credit card fraud of the elderly. You know what? I have to cut you off, but it seems like you are a champion for seniors and keep up the good work, Delegate Kramer. Thank you, and keep I appreciate the, the opportunity. And to find out what Comcast is doing in your community, click on the on-demand button and get local. As always, thanks for watching. Have a good one, everyone.